Hello, I am Matt Mon the Frigid Gamer, and this is my review of The Guild of Dungeoneering. The Guild of Dungeoneering is a turn-based RPG card battling dungeon crawler slash builder, which may seem like a mouthful at first, but that combined with its minimalistic art style and ye old style bardic music really add and create its own atmosphere that binds together pretty seamlessly. My first impressions of it when I was watching it on early access through Twitch were stunning. I, yeah, it was just incredible watching the different ways things played out and even just the ways that card decks just didn't seem to work or worked fantastically for certain enemies and even bosses. Uh, and even when people were dying, they were having a lot of fun. And for me, that is the first signs that a game is truly good. The Guild of Dungeoneering starts out with a very, very simple, uh, somewhat broken guild. And what you have to do is throughout the course of the game, you have to add rooms to your guild in order to gain new members and new classes in your guild, new trinkets to go out adventuring with, and in some cases, even new dungeons to go exploring. Once you're inside the dungeon, this is where the bulk of the gameplay occurs. You have, it's, it's in essence a double-layered card game. On the, the map, the overhead map, you're going to get a hand of cards. And what happens is, you cannot control your Dungeoneer. You can only influence where he will go. So you have to place rooms down, put certain monsters in them, or even put loot in the room to make the Dungeoneer travel the path that you want. Now the rooms that you can place down kind of act like a puzzle game on top of everything else. So you have to link rooms together in creative ways in order to kind of make a map as to where you want the Dungeoneer to go, and what kind of loot you want him to find, and what you want him to bring home, and in which order you want him to fight enemies. Now, this all combined together really, really sets the stage for a, a, an epic adventure. Every time you go into a dungeon, even after you die, it feels like you are completing part of a story. The combat system is another layered card game on top of the first layer. This particular card game more focuses on kind of like a rock-paper-scissors approach to combat, where certain elements and certain aspects can combine together to create truly powerful moves. Now, at the very beginning, it's going to seem like certain damage values and things like that are coming clean out of thin air. But after you start playing the game a little bit, you start understanding certain traits, what these traits do, and how you can use them to your advantage, or how you can defend against it when the enemy has the advantage. If your cards don't come as you like, unfortunately your Dungeoneer will pass. This is just a simple factor of the game. Sometimes you get bad cards, sometimes it happens. Death in the game is somewhat forgivable, so it's not like it's completely the end of the world, or that you have a severe debt or anything like that to the game. So even if you make a mistake and it just it, it's just something absolutely ridiculous happens, you can laugh about it and you can feel good about it even though you've just lost. We're going to start off this review with what people want to hear first, and that's what kind of issues that they may face in the game, or what might deter them from purchasing this. The first one is that it's extremely difficult. And when I say difficult, I don't mean the normal kind of you know, skill cap, if you train yourself, you'll eventually beat it kind of difficult. This is a random difficult, which means that you're going to die a lot simply by just having bad rolls, finding bad loot, uh, things of that nature. Um, like I said before, lots of this, you usually find it quite funny when you wind up against, yeah, just bad odds. But it's still quite difficult, and you do wind up restarting levels a lot. The other thing, and it kind of merges in with the difficult portion of this, is that combat is extremely complex. Now, it may look like you're just playing a simple set of cards against a, a constant reel of cards coming from an enemy, but the, the fact is that even if you can predict some of the cards that are coming, and even if you can use the environment to your advantage, there are elements at play that you have to be aware of, like uh, fountain effects, uh, certain traits that enemies may have, bonus effects of cards. Like The gameplay is extremely complex for how deceptively simple it may appear. The parts of this game that I found extremely rewarding were, f well, in the difficult section I put complex, but to be honest, that's one of the things that I find extremely, extremely rewarding in this, is when you manage to complete a very, very difficult boss or extremely difficult quest, you feel like you've accomplished something. And even death is fairly forgivable, as your, your individual troops and members of your guild are replaced fairly quickly, and you even get a little bit of a reward for dying. The other thing I really enjoy about this is the extremely high level of customization. 
Now, being able to build your own guild is, is cool and all, but being able to start off, like, choosing your starting bonuses when you enter into a dungeon, uh, what kind of gear your dungeoneer has, even if it's randomly generated, you still can pick gear to, best, uh, to suit yourself for the environment that you're going into. And the other thing is, it's extremely high level of replayability. When you're dealing with something as random as this game is, where you're doing po uh, problem solving based on randomly generated cards, the replayability of this is insane. You, you, you could play this a hundred times and never once get even remotely close to what you had the first time. All in all, this is a very solid game, and I would rate it a firm 8 out of 10. Even the price tag of the current $17 Canadian seems to match the amount of content in the game. The minor learning curve and randomness of death is more than offset by the amount of content and beautiful music and melodies that are found throughout this game. So if this looks like something for you or that might be right up your alley, I highly recommend giving it a try. Thank you for watching my review of the Guild of Dungeoneering, and if you enjoyed this or want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button for when new stuff comes out. And on that note, all of this video content was recorded live at my Twitch channel at www.twitch.tv forward slash mattmont88. Thank you all for watching. This is Matt Mon out. Deuces.